Hey guys, Matt here. I wanted to give you a quick tour of everything that I've got going on with Project Pandora now that it's finished. Uh, using the GoPro with SuperView, so hopefully you'll be able to get all this in one video. Um, so basically what we've got here in the garage, this is the completed project. And you see just a four by four by six enclosure. Um, nothing fancy here, just you know plywood and we've cut it with a subfloor uh, over on the side you'll notice that we've got the AC unit and I've got a six inch 350 roughly CFM fan that is actually sucking out the exhaust gas from the AC unit. So in the summer when the AC unit starts getting hot, that's gonna be its exhaust. So it's getting ducted into the top, which is the main exhaust channel, which leverages the same model fan, if you can see those, except the one on the top is a 10 inch version that's a thousand cfm so it's certainly a hoss it's got you know a ton more uh airflow than of course the baby brother over here but this one's got much bigger of a job in the fact that it's actually sucking out all the heat it's routing it right down the garage you know down the the far left channel of the garage and if we go all the way to the edge bear with me with the movement but if we look up the top, you can tell that we've got a 90 degree going right into the attic space. And then if we just step right outside the garage, you'll notice that right above, we've got this nice fascia vent. You know, it's right here on the house. Didn't have to cut this, obviously it was part of it. And that is where I've got the heat being exhausted. That way we didn't have to make any cuts or any holes in the actual house. It just went straight through a vent that was already there. Now, as far as electrical, um, right now I just have one 240 and I've got one additional 110 that is dedicated to run the AC unit and obviously the 240 runs everything else. And you know, on the side I've just got a couple of these little latches, keep the door shut. All right, so when you open it up, if you can still hear me okay, um, the green and black or green and gray, those are noise insulation panels to try to help damp dampen the noise just a little. Um, these Antminer S9s are extremely loud. Uh, the Giant B is not quite as bad. It only has a single fan. And then obviously all 12 GPUs go and clearly it gets a little noisy. So it's certainly way too loud to put anywhere inside the house. So I added some of those noise dampening panels. Um, you can see at the bottom, we've got the AC piped in through the subfloor. So that basically is piping in, you know, air condition right through the bottom, coming right through the top. So it's blowing right there. Um, right here on the panel, you've got the two S9s here on the right. Then you've got the Giant B. They're all run from uh, actually the Bitmain power supplies got the switchable PDU here at the bottom that's the 30 amp and then I've got another PDU that just handles the fans and other little accessories and then here behind I've actually got the exhaust from the S9s being channeled to this back panel that way it's just not recirculating out of the main area and then the panel somewhat blocks that heat and keeps it channeled and then up at the top I have another one of those duct fans that's actually sucking that heat, blowing it out, and then up through the main exit. So that is the main exit for all the heat right in the center. So that just helps suck that, that hot heat from the ASICs right out through the top. Uh, you can also see that I've got the watchdog temperature sensor. So this is where, if you look at the other video, this is the GPU panel, so you can see you know, all the heat from the GPUs hit that guy. I've got another probe right here, which is the one that I call the rack, the server rack. So basically this is the one I consider to be just ambient temps, because it's not anywhere in proximity to any of the gear. And then finally, you can see this guy. I've got one right there. And that's the one that I call the vortex, which is basically right there at the exhaust exit just to try to get an idea of how hot that, that air is that's leaving the enclosure. Um, got an air filter here in the side. So that way all the air, you know, nearly all the air that's getting sucked into this thing has been filtered. So when this is closed up, 
you know, again, it's not like I got out here with uh, air pressure testing and made sure this sucker was airtight. I mean, reality is it's not. Um, you know, the, the little noise panels, if you can see through there, there's a little bit of areas where air can get sucked in through these, but, you know, for the most part, everything is super sealed. I mean, you can see that's like right up against the floor with very little gaps. So all the air that's getting sucked in is coming either through that air filter or through the AC unit, but the AC unit is, is also filtered. So the reality is, you know, I would estimate probably 95, 98% of the air that goes into this unit or into this enclosure has already been filtered to some capacity, which is the main thing I was worried about is just to make sure that since this is in a garage, wanted to keep the air as pure as possible and clean as possible just to make sure we don't clog up any heat sinks. So that's the project guys in a nutshell. There's a lot of pictures to go along with this video on the blog post, uh, including you know what it looks like up in the attic space on how I ducted all this out. Guys, that would never happen. But the whole idea with that unit is just to add a little bit of extra cool air into this relatively small enclosure uh, just to help keep everything you know full bore, you know mining 100% without worrying about you know, auto shutdowns due to heat. So we'll see how that works, but thanks for watching. If you've got any comments, questions, um, you know, you'd like any links to anything that maybe I missed, just let me know. Uh, but that's the, the finished product. Everything went together nicely. Took me about, I'd probably say two to three weeks to get it all up and running and waiting on the gear to get here. And it's all done and it's humming along nicely. And so far profits have been great. And I've got another video specifically to the profit section. So make sure you check that out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.